We have seen this class in one of the previous lectures. Whenever we create a new instance object for this class, immediately we have to call this method setDetails. Because when this method will be called, then only the instance object will have its instance variables created. Now suppose we forget to call this method for this instance object p2 and we directly call these methods display and greet. We run this program and we get this attribute error. For object p1, we had called the method setDetails, so its instance variables were created. But for object p2, we forgot to call this method, so its instance variables were not created. And here we have called these two methods on p2. Now this method wants to access instance variable name of object p2. And this method wants to access instance variable age of object p2. But these instance variables were not created for this instance object. So we get this attribute error. So if you forget to call this setDetails method or you call it after calling any of these two methods, you will get an error. You always have to remember to call the setDetails method immediately after creating any person object so that the instance variables are created and can be used in other methods. Now it is definitely cumbersome to call this method every time you create an object. Python has a solution for this. It lets you automate this task. So you can define a method named init with two underscores before and after this name init. This method will automatically be called after the instance has been created. So if you have any code that you think should be executed just after the object creation, put that code inside this method. Now for this class, we want this code to be executed after we have created the instance object. So let's change the name of this method to init. Now this name is not a convention like naming of self. This is a special name and you cannot choose any other name for this method. And the two leading and trailing underscores are also important. Because of these underscores, this method is generally called dunder init, where dunder is a short form for double underscore. Now let's delete this call from here. We don't have to call this init method explicitly. Python will call it implicitly. So now you must be thinking when we don't have to call this method, how will we send the arguments for these parameters name and age? These arguments will be sent here when the object is instantiated. Now let's run this. So we get this output. This dunder init method was called automatically. So when you create instance objects, any arguments that you pass to the class are passed to the dunder init method. And like other methods, it also should have this self parameter. So we have seen that the initialization work is automatically done by Python if you define the dunder init method. You can create and initialize all your instance variables in this method. Although instance variables can be created in any other method also, it is more readable and clear if you create all the instance variables in this standard init method. You can also perform any other startup task that you want in this initializer method. For example, opening a file or setting up a network connection or connecting to a database. Like other methods, the first parameter is always self. And after self, other parameters that are coded are used to give initial values to instance variables. These parameters can be given default values also if required. These types of methods that have special names and have double underscores before and after their names are called magic methods in Python. The magic is that they are not called directly. They are called automatically in certain contexts. We will learn more about these methods later in this course. If you have worked in other object-oriented languages, you must be thinking about constructors right from the starting of this lecture. The dunder init method definitely looks like a Java or C++ constructor, but it would be technically incorrect to call it a constructor of the class, because by the time this method is called, the object is already constructed. 
to construct an instance this magic method is called so technically this is the actual constructor as a beginner you won't need to use this method much it is generally used to code media classes this dunder in it is the initializer method it is called immediately after the instance is created it is the first method that is called on the newly created instance object the self parameter passed to this method refers to the newly created object so this method does not construct the instance object it initializes an already constructed instance object you can have only one initializer method in a class since there is no concept of function overloading in python however it is possible to create your instance objects with different types of data using class methods that we'll see later in this course